the politics of ooh, la, 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 the politics of dancing, the politics of ooh, la, la, la. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Theatrical Mystery Tour. Welcome to the Masterpiece Theater known as the Gorgeous George Show. And if you like it, I don't care. You're going to have to learn, baby, to love it. Because it's the best thing that's going today on public, pubic, asses, and on the boob. Your boobies on YouTube. Woo! And we got uh, birthday boy, Kay Lazar. How bizarre he is. 80 years old. And he's got his brand new walker out. He's walking with his cane. Kay Lazar. Yes. 80 years old. Yes. Happy freaking birthday. Thank you. Thank, and you want to know something? You, you could just count the rings around my eyes just like a tree. Yeah. <laughs> you find out my real age. <laughs> 80 years old. How about that? Yeah. I think next year I'm going to tell people I'm 100. And they'll say, boy, you look pretty good. And they want to know. If, <laughs> and listen, they want to know, if, do you have false teeth or is that your real teeth? Uh, uh, the, my my uh, teeth are real, but my gums are fake. Okay. <laughs> Because one thing you don't want, you don't want to be laughed at by your teeth. No. no. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take them out. And... Exactly. Because you're going to entertain and your own teeth could be laughing at you. You don't want that. Oh, man. Politics are dancing. The politics are ooh, la, la, la. <laughs> That's our new theme song. Oh, my name is Kay Lazar. How and, bizarre. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, oh well, you're, I'm sorry. You ordered. Uh, yeah, you go ahead. And the, it's, a, it's a big day for me. It's my birthday and everything. Okay. And thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me here on Listen, your Kevin, wonderful this show. Listen, Kevin. This is what we're going to We were going to get you a bun cake. Yeah. And now we're, it's not going to be just any special, but just a bun cake filled with some chocolate. Right. Not just any kind of chocolate, <laughs> oh. but chocolate of the supreme. You know, <laughs> they're up there. And we were going to put it, you know, put it out there. Happy Birthday, K. Lazar, Hal Bazaar, eight zero, <laughs> and counting. Was there any room left for the cake? Or yeah. <laughs> was he got the frosting? On? And the I, cake, it'd yeah. be bun, it's, it's, it'd be, it was like a bun cake, but we yeah. put a little rim on top and whatnot, and we would put those fake candles. Yeah. With those candles you try to blow and they pop oh, yeah. back up again. Oh yeah. 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 Blow a lot. The yeah, source blow. of more birthday heart attacks. <laughs> Than any than any product ever created. If you want yeah. to kill off your grandfather, <laughs> that's right. Get those get those cans. If you want his inheritance, <laughs> all right. So false welcome. Twenty eight years of my presence, blessing your blessing your television. And did I ever think I would come back to pubiasis? No, but here I am. I didn't think I'd come back, but here I am. We're here earlier in the year, and and we're here now. And what we're doing is we're giving you an education for the words that are coming out of my mouth, like words of uh, words of velvet that you're seeing. <laughs> and the red carpet comes out, and we yeah. say to you, get an education and listen. Yeah. And you might be able to pass yeah. the grade. Actually, if not, we'll put a dunce cap on you and send you back in the corner. We don't usually come on this late. And we used to come on earlier in the day. No, uh, and we, we, we used to come on later than this, actually. And, and But now we're on against Jeopardy. So, yeah, right. so we, we kind okay. of obligated to, well, to do a smarter show than... I don't know. ...than what they... What our, is it Jeopardy what our, or... What our, what our, well, both of our fans... <laughs> is it, is it, <laughs> can turn to. Is it Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune? Which one's on there now? I think uh, Jeopardy... Wheel of Fortune, that's that show you have to sit through okay. before you get the Jeopardy, yeah. Okay, so, well, so, so can, I, can I buy a vowel or pack? <laughs> Pat St. Jack and Bob Val. Val. You actually, you look like Pat St. Jack right yes, now. Yes, yes. I. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead and spin the wheel. <laughs> you want to know something about spinning the wheel? When I see them, when I see them like with like twenty thousand dollars, and they say, oh, "I'm going to go one more time," and then they're bankrupt. Serves them right. <laughs> The greed. And I think everyone in the audience just rubs their hands. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I wouldn't uh, do that. I'll say, Pat, can we, uh, if I spin the wheel, can I see what's up Vanna's dress? <laughs> and I want to see what's up Vanna's dress? Yeah, that's have, that's she, have her sit on my lap and sing me a lullaby? <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you go. You, you know what's up. You, you know what's. You, you know. Yeah, I know you, you, know, you see. You put on a pedestal real high, so you can see what's under below. And you know what you see? Her social security check. <laughs> <laughs> isn't she like isn't she like 80 years old <laughs> same age as me yeah, that's right 
And that's Nurse Banna works. is always shown in long shot. You never see a close-up of her. Wow, there are three wrong. women on television you never see a close-up of, and that's Deborah Norville, uh, Mary Hart, and Vanna. Because why, why is not, that? Because they're well, cosmetic They're pretty women, cosmetic. and they look great, great. But they, I guess they... Uh, also, I mean, it, it goes for men, too. You don't see Jimmy Kimmel or, or in the, even the day Johnny Carson in close-up or Letterman. They wanted to be shown <laughs> in long... There, there are no close-ups on the show. Are there close-ups? Speaking of that, why are there close-ups well, on the show? Because <laughs> the way I see it is, have, I mean, I don't want it too close. Yeah. But if, I, you know, if you want to see the, the nose hair in my nose yeah. and see the penetration of the, the different strands of the, my nose hair, by all means... <laughs> Women, I want you yeah. to see it because I want you to get excited by the strands of our nose hair. Kevin, no. do you have any nose hair that's no. popping out? Do you ever have, have the little problem with nose hair no. sticking out? I tell you why I don't have nose hair. Why is Because that? I'm in the theater and I'm an actor. Okay. Well, and I mean, and, and wait, wait a minute, but there's a reason why. Every time I have to cry on stage, you know, I have to get worked up, so I pluck a nose hair. <laughs> And tears come down my Yeah. Eye. And I once was in a play that was so depressing by the end that the end of the run I had a bald nose. <laughs> well, I guess the nose knows. Doesn't it know? The nose knows. Um, the tears just come down. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was in uh, Camille <laughs> in La Traviata, <laughs> it was just so sad. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I like your beard. Keep it up. Well, I'm going to be in a play where, a, bi a biblical uh, play where probably by the time we uh, finish the last show of this run, I will have a, a like a full beard. You have uh, a full playing, beard? Because I play, uh, it's in the book of Esther, I think. I don't know who I play. Maybe King Haman or something. Okay. <laughs> it's a play about the... About uh, the Book of Esther. So. The Book of Esther. Book. Is that uh, Esther uh, on, on uh, Sanford and Son? No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, it's about, it's okay, about. That was it. The, Yo, he, it's about the woman who was Jewish and she became queen of Persia and then killed all the, uh, killed all the all the uh, people that were trying. It's pure, pure, uh, killed all the people that are trying to kill the Jews. And one of the few times our tribe actually comes out on top. Okay. <laughs> that in the Six Day War. That's about the only time. <laughs> So, we go back. Now, I, was, I think that, you know, because we don't really have, have a dis mm -hmm. course or discussion or we didn't really have a time. I don't, because I don't need a topic. I told him on the phone today. I said, we could just sit here and look at the camera and that would be a show. We don't want to say a word. Not every show. And, and we could just sit here and look at the camera and that would be a show within itself because women would be pleasuring themselves just by watching us. Yeah. By pleasuring themselves you know, by watching us do our theatrical performance and our masterpiece theater of a show. Master something, I tell you. And they'll say, yes, master. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Keep your eye on the bobbit. Keep your eye on the magical bobbit as I put you in a trance. Yes, master. Who is your master? You are my lord. My lord. Keep thinking that. And tell me... How many? How bad you want me? I want you real bad, Master. That's right. Now get down your hands and knees and worship me. So, so you didn't prepare for this show, huh? Funny, it doesn't seem like you didn't, do you? <laughs> oh, that's the figure we were waiting for. <laughs> that's, the, that's the figure to take a higher road. One, two, three. And this is also the figure that you get to get your prostate <laughs> exam. Oh God! And wrap your wrap Ooh, your ass. Yes, tell you, that, you know. that reminds me. I'm going to be running in the 10K this weekend. Oh, you are? Yes. And uh, it's and I always joke it's my longest hour of the year. Uh, uh, compared to going to my doctor's and getting a physical, which is the longest 15 seconds of my year. <laughs> so you're, so you're going to do the 10K. Are you, are you going to run it or are you going to jog it or are you going to walk it? Well, it's six miles, and I'm not I'm yeah. not that strong that I can run it like right. a, like a, like an Olympian. But okay. I, I try to run as much as I can. And I certainly run the last... Um, the last cool. bit, the last, uh, once I see the finish line, I just put on the steam. I was, uh, I was telling Brent and Joe yeah. earlier when you, before you, yeah. before you got here, something before the show started, yeah. Brent and Joe, that I used to be, I used to be a sprinter. Yeah. And when I was in high school, I used to sprint. Now, we all know, of course, you all, you know, people that know me, I you know, know what's going on. I have arthritis and mobility in my mm -hmm. legs with arthritis and it hurts like hell. Mm -hmm. So when I, you know. So I'm trying to get myself, I want to get back into running. So this, I mean, if I don't take this, the medicine that I'm taking makes me have 
a better better agility. Still, running is still of an issue where it would hurt in my legs. Mm -hmm. But these pills that I take, I'd be like crawling if I didn't take these pills. These pills make me be able to go ahead and, and be able to run. Well, not run, but walk, you know, normal. And believe it or not, I was doing some kicks. Mm -hmm. And I was doing those those high kicks today? that I was able to do. Not today, because today has been a day from hell Recently. for me. But yes, I've been doing some kicks. That's I've great. been doing some kicks, and I was able to do that with no pain at all. So just FYI, I was doing those kicks. And there felt, you go. So it's a gradual process. way across the finish line. It's a gradual process. <laughs> so anyway. But do you know that uh, uh, these are Carter me, little, me, little liver pills? Main camera here. Yeah, there's only that's one meant, car. There's only one camera. Well, I know we got two, but that's not <laughs> two. The, now are these are Carter little liver pills or Dones pills you take. Uh, these are pills that make me feel feel good. Are they? Uh, do you take Absorbine Senior for for your age? Uh, I take Absorbine. Uh, so I take a uh, Absorbine Junior. <laughs> do you take <laughs> you take Primatine Mist? No, I don't take Primatine Mist. No. <laughs> do people really use all that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I, I, when I was a kid, I used to I sent you some Geritol. Did you get it? Geritol. All I right. Geritol. <laughs> Geritol. I did. And that bun cake. Yeah, I mean, you got those, the Geritol and the bun cake, right? In fact, I mixed them together. Okay. I, <laughs> you put the pills in the cake? No, I, I mean, you know what people do with, with cake? They usually pour a, a whole whiskey, bottle of whiskey out. Right. I did it with Geritol. I'm at that age. Well, this is a pill form. You put it inside the cake. <laughs> a pill? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you feed a, you feed a dog with the stemper or something. That's right. <laughs> You never get that that way? <laughs> well, I mean, you should. should I don't have the stemper. I don't you know what that well, is. you do have a you, you do you do have a stemper. <laughs> I have a temper. You have a stemper. Actually, I don't have a temper. I'm actually uh, pretty. Well, I, I'm just saying. I'm you, rather. rather you'd be cool, fed cool that company. way. You'd be fed that way. It should should not. We should not worry about it. You know. Yes. So anyway, but you know, I mean, people, you have put in your applesauce, you know, so get in your applesauce. Oh, applesauce sauce is yeah, quite put, good. Yeah, put put those spills in your applesauce. You know, put them anywhere. Does anyone not like applesauce? Well, I mean, I, I kind of like, love it. I kind of like it like apple snatch. <laughs> you mean apple snatch? Well, uh, when I used to, when you when, uh, you used to be the old man. Wait, apple apple snatch. Apple jacks. I remember that. Well, no, it used to be called apple. Cereal, no, what's uh, apple snatch? Apple snatch. I know, I know the joke. You, but, <laughs> but what what was it? A, a, a drink? Was it a liquor drink or something? No. Okay. When you want to get a good and get a, get get it going on, I get it. It's a box of apple snatch. Oh I yeah. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot your alter ego. I get a double apple snatch, and I make it, it makes it me feel really good there, and I just devour it. It's used really to good to put some milk. I, I'm doing Henry without the wonderful the mask. mask yeah. I'm doing Henry without the mask. I always wonder why George and Henry were never shown again. Well, I, 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 I wonder why too. It's like bat. It's like Batman without his that hood he wears. Yeah, well, I mean Bruce Wayne and Batman. Yeah, Bruce Wayne and Batman. Yeah, so. We see Hollywood right now. We see a lot of people in Hollywood have people that are exceeding the age of ninety. People in their nineties mm -hmm. and they're still kicking. Yeah. William Shatner, friend of mine, Rescue Nine One One, Spock, <laughs> Spock. How many times do I have to tell you there are Klingons on the surface? Captain, Star Date Research says that they're not. Spock, Spock. I tell you, don't talk back to me. Just say yes. We need. These Klingons, we need to see new land and territory on the fertile land. Have we landed on the fertile land? Captain, I am scoping out on my microscope to see where we are landed. Captain, Captain, I'm giving it all she's got. She's going about ready to blow. Scotty, that's what we want. Scotty, that's what we want. We want her to blow. <laughs> that, was, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> we give we're like that selfish show. We give so, uh, we have a little for everybody. And that was for the nerds watching. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the you, guys who can't get a uh, the guys that watch uh, from I can't get a girlfriend dot com. I hope you enjoyed that. Star so Trek so I mean I'm saying, but did she blow? Kevin? <laughs> did she blow? Did she? I didn't see too many girls on that show. Okay. Well, I, I mean you had you, you uh, I don't know. What you <laughs> of course you had Sulu. Joe oh Carlos my. Was on Sulu. It. Oh my. Well, there you go. But tell me, uh, so how was Captain Kirk? Very nice. Everyone's nice to me. He had a, he had a full toupee on. <laughs> it's pretty good looking toupee. Was it was it like real hair, it, or was it glued on? He's it's. You know, a lot of times with these toupees, they 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 go through a few of them, and you can actually see on certain shows and game shows and talk shows where he didn't really look. It looked like it was just <laughs> like a bird flew on his head or something. But that this uh, he got to the point where he's got the best toupees I've seen are. Uh, uh, 
uh, Bill Shatner, I, uh, Tony Bennett, and uh, and Charlton Heston have pretty good ones. And then I've heard Ben Affleck and Nicolas Cage have pretty good ones. So <laughs> Charlton Heston had one, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. In fact, they gave a list of all these old time uh, actors that worked. I heard Stallone. I heard so. Oh, Stallone. Stallone. You mean Sly? Sly I, Sly? I heard that Dean Martin wore a toupee, okay. which. Now it kind of looks like a Well, I mean, but are they wearing two days or are they putting hair from a certain place and using crazy glue on top of it? You mean like a hair transplant? I don't know. Or or using some crazy glue, maybe. uh, Both, uh, I think it was uh, Frank Sinatra and uh, and Elton John went through like at least three or four hair transplants before before they decided just to give it all up. Because, you know, if if your hair doesn't take it the first time, it's not going to take it probably... In the future, you, and now they have... You said Elton John, right? Elton okay, John. I'm going to play the piano, then. Don't let your son go down on me. <laughs> I thought it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Elton, great. Okay. All right, so just quit touring. Okay, so now listen. Don't let the son go down on me. Please don't. Uh, so, Shatner is 92. Mm-hmm. Barbara Eden. Barbara Eden from I All Dream right. a Genie. Yeah. 94. Yeah. Uh, and she still looks kind of like what she was. And yeah. you imagine all this. Bob uh, Barker. Don't get your cat spaded. It. It's 99, I believe. 99. 99. Bob Barker. Uh, Willie is uh, Willie Nelson almost is, 90. Is he almost 90? 90, yeah. Willie Nelson. He'll be 90 this year. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. I always hear that Willie's not doing too well, but then I see him, he doesn't. Well, you he, know looks what a, he looks the same. You know what? You know what he, he looked like he was 90 when he was, you, when he was 30. You know what keeps him going, don't you? What? Marijuana's up. Well, you know, he's, he's proof that marijuana ain't going to shorten your life. <laughs> marijuana's that keeps him going. You also, uh, people all take it. But you know who's really old, is still around, and you might see her here and there, is June Lockhart from The Lassie Show. Okay. And all those other shows, Petticoat Junction and Lost okay. in Space. She's still around. Yeah. What about the woman that played on the Waltons? That I think she was on there too. That old lady that played on the Waltons. The not the real old lady, but uh, not, she, well, no, the, she the, bought the, the, the farm. Well, yeah, the, Ellen Corby, but the no. uh, but the, the Waltons was uh, uh, her name was Michael Lerner. Lerner. Yeah. Lerner. Lerner. That's right. So there you go. And uh, but she I said, never saw her on anything other than the Waltons. You know, I had so dinner good. earlier this. Last year I had dinner with Ooh. John Boy. I just belched, by the way. I had John Boy. <laughs> we'll call the police. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had dinner with John Boy last year. Okay. I just happened to run into him, and he was playing Atticus Finch in The, the Kill a Mockingbird. And okay. Of mine was, gotcha. Mary Badham was in the show, and, and so we went to see her. And I didn't get a chance to see Mary, but I got to see her. Uh, so uh, I got to meet the... Uh, the woman John, on the wall is, 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 is how in her 90s, or she's in her 90s too? On the wall? I don't really know the wall. The wall is in her 90s, okay. I think all the, old people, got, all the old people from the Waltons are pretty much dead, except for the mother, I think. The mother's still alive. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Robert Blake died, and he was, I think, close. He was 89. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you about Robert Blake. Robert Blake is the last surviving person you could see on a regular basis on Turner Classic Movies. He was in the Treasure Sierra Madre and Humoresque and uh, a couple of uh, Laurel and Hardy movies and stuff and Our Gang comedies. And now that he's dead, now... Turner Classic Movies really is the Everybody is Dead channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, so it's a great so, that, so you that need that a channel. flashlight and, and, some, and some shovels to dig them up. <laughs> yeah. And to dig them up, basically. The only person not dead on that channel is Ben Mankiewicz. <laughs> Who's this now, Ben who? The, the guy who introduces the... Oh, okay. Movies, yeah. The black, black yeah, movies. so, the, you know, so, I mean, like I said, the Bob Barker, the original Bob Barker. Yeah. I, mean, I met Bob Barker when you I met was... Barker. I met Bob Barker. I, I, was, about Bob I wasn't called on down, but you could see me in the eye when I was when and CBS Studios back in 06. When I went to L.A. in 06, you could see me on the aisle seat. Yeah. And I say, uh, come on down. Yeah. Richard, stiff, uh, stiff Richard, come on down. Okay. <laughs> Richard Head. The Richard Head. Oh, uh, <laughs> Richard. 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 Richard Stiffing Dick. <laughs> Dick Stiffing Dick Stiffing Dick. <laughs> so there you go. Oh man, you know I you I hear all those things. Uh, Jack me offer. Jack uh, me off. Uh, um, Come on down. Dick that's in well. I, I know all those all those um, all those all those things. In fact, we you actually did a uh, you actually did. <laughs> A poetry quarter once on this show yeah, with, a, with a 
Claude, the poems of Claude Balls. Yeah. <laughs> Spot on the wall by Oof Long Dog. Imagine, <laughs> imagine reciting those poems. I'm trying to remember. We that. should try to rewrite. Yeah, well, I, I think he just. Well, no, I'll listen to his book on the record. Here I sit. They are very unregular. And I sit in my solitude, scratching my balls. Oh, my I think about you every day and night. And I want to know where is the Dasinex. <laughs> I wonder and sit and ponder where you could be. Where are you? Where are you, my lady? Where are you, my love? You shot, you done another, and you were gone. <laughs> Lord in despair. I would say he hustled. God, I'm yeah. agony on me. Deep down depression, excessive misery. If I didn't have any bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom and doom and nagging on me. Remember that, don't you? Hee haw. Uh, I, <laughs> I come from a small town, and my, my, my town is so small that hee haw was shown on the educational channel. Yeah. <laughs> Now, that, <laughs> what I want to know is, you, you, that lady would always have, always have that price tag on her hat. Mini Pearl. And he would, always wanted to know how much that hat was. But you could never see the price, though. The price tag was there, but you could never... I always wanted to say, well, what, look, tell us how much your hat's on. Or how much is your hat? I thought she was funny. The price tag. There Mini Pearl. For one thing, I didn't really care for country music in those days. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care for it. I mean, but, I care but, for but, but when she would come on these country music shows, I said, oh, finally, a break from the... From the music, yeah. <laughs> I can hear some comedy. Which comedy? It doesn't matter where it's from. If, it, right. if you laugh, it's. Well, that's why this show is such a well. I mean, a, a know, resounding like success. Said, like I said, when deep, <laughs> deep in thought, I think about her every single night. Yeah, my balls itch and they cry a tear. And I wonder where she was. Why she didn't come hither when I had came for her? And we came together and we said, "Ooh," and she said, "Ooh," and I said, "Oh yeah, you know what Daddy likes." <laughs> Woo! Hither, tither, and then. <laughs> well, Lotus Lead as one, yeah. shedding a tear together <laughs> as one. Yes. Shedding a tear. Now, uh, so he Hall. This, was, is, this is actually for the children, too. So, so he Hall was the extent <laughs> of the quality programming you watched as a kid. Well, no, I mean, watch a little bit of that. Uh, <laughs> Watch, watch, I mean, we'd watch Star Trek. I mean, watch like Star Trek, minutes. and you know, of course, you know the shows. You, know, you like sixty minutes? Did you watch? Uh, that? Well, the, the clicking tongue. You know, I mean, I used to get pissed off when the football game got cut off. <laughs> that game, sixty minutes comes on. Tick, 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 tick. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, wait a minute. I, no, they never. They no, never, they, they, they would cut the cut they the would not game cut off. the game off. They would run the game all the way, and then sixty minutes was delayed, like an hour okay, and a half. Well, it's still that. But you know what? That was something that actually helped sixty minutes. Because 60 minutes, no one would really tune into it unless they were watching the game. So, oh, they're too lazy to change the channel. And that's actually why 60 Minutes became the most popular show. Yeah. Because, because it's the show you watched with, <laughs> when the football game was over. <laughs> yeah. But you had to wait a whole other hour for Andy Rooney, which is, I guess, was really... Well, I, it was just, yeah, I didn't care for it. I didn't you care. didn't care for Andy I, I didn't care for 60 seconds or 60 seconds of 60 Minutes. See, I'll tell you about yeah. 60 Minutes. The name of the show should be called... 45 minutes and a lot of commercials. Yeah. Good be. <laughs> so we're just, let, let, let's recite this again. I know we've recited this before, but a little bit of a filler, if you will. So, you know, we know the story, you know, we know about Mr. Bobbitt and Lorena and all that, and Lorraine Bobbitt and all that. that was and we have, and we have to talk about it again because we want to edu <laughs> educate the people that might be listening to this channel. Yeah. So, uh, this old lady found Johnny Bobbitt's. Uh, member in the Win Dixie. And it was in the park it, it, no, it was it was in the Win Dixie parking lot. So she's like, excuse she said, Oh my, what did I just find? I found something. Oh God, look at this. And so she got so damn excited she didn't know what to do. She said, I found this. Oh, but I gotta turn it in because someone might be missing this. Yeah. So she goes <laughs> obviously <laughs> she goes into the store. She said, Look, I didn't really want to turn this in, but I gotta feel like I'm obligated to turn this thing in because someone might need it. They might be missing it. Oh, ma'am, oh, hold tight. So they got one of those Sherlock lock bags, you know? Said, put it in here. Yeah, I'm tempted and all that, but you might you want to call the police and I can look at it before you, you, you I turn it. No, ma'am, you put it in this Sherlock bag, this in this bag here. And the police came and she said, oh, I found this in the parking lot and somebody might need it. And sure enough, Oh, they, John, Johnny Bobbitt and his member were reunited. 
it was a very painstaking operation because they had to find it very fast. They found it within an hour. Of, of it. They were, of the, they, they, and they knew what they were looking for, and they had to look for it. It wasn't like someone. I think. Uh, I mean, maybe they were I don't know reunited. Out, but it was. It was. Well, you know. And uh, and, and uh, she pretty much got off. No, that that woman should have been put under the jail. Well, she was. She went to jail. She, she, been, she, she was in a, a uh, rubber room, psych room. Well, she was in that. And under the jail, because that something like that should not be breathing. But but you cut off some, some she had a good lawyer. Room. She had a good lawyer, and her lawyer tried to you know this before the like the Me Too movement. Okay. Prove that I mean, you can't really prove this, but evidently he made a convincing argument to the to the judge that he was a pretty rotten husband to her, and right. that she wouldn't have done this. She didn't do. Uh, the, the dismemberment out of the blue. She did it because she felt she was, well, you know... I'm just saying... Terrible. Now, now there's, there are better ways to settle an argument than that. <laughs> well... She could have just left him or something. Yeah, I mean... Taking his, to, taking his money. To have that thought in your mind is a crime. To have that thought in your mind to, dis, to dismember and to dislodge, no, that... No, that is, well, that's, that's a heinous crime. Well, you know, in other countries, I mean, the way people in, in war and the way they treat civilians, uh, conquering armies, they, they're pretty rough. And they, that, I mean, uh, and, it's, and the ideas are in their head, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not enough to kill the enemy, but to actually, you know, just really just pulverize them. Break and then them. after that, though, he did, you know, he would do these porn flicks and what he would do, do the porn flicks. Oh, John Bobbitt. Yeah. yeah. And she said, "What do you got?" I said, "Well, it's great." And she it. said, "Damn, you know, this, he's probably, I mean, of course, you know, but that's the you know, these porn flakes when him and uh, Ron Jeremy would get together and they would yeah. get these women together, it's all together, these porn flakes, you know." And she said, "Well, he's kicking." I said, "Well, yeah, it is crooked. It's got a special place right there. It'd it be crooked. Peyronie's you know. disease. Peyronie's, yeah. Peyronie's. Peyronie's. That's what the, that's what it was rumored that the." Uh, Bill Clinton had, and they thought that if uh, Paula Jones or uh, or any of these women that were on trial for uh, for uh, Clinton, they could if they described uh, his member, he they could actually said, well, I think he suffers from Peyronie's disease. There's also talk, uh, you know, it's in the news right now about Stormy I, I Daniels, that, that. about yeah. Stormy, yeah, Stormy Daniels. Daniels, and one of the things is that she could describe what uh, the, uh, President Trump looks like, so yeah. uh, without his clothes on, so. And that helps. You know, when, when Michael Jackson, when Michael Jackson was arrested for uh, bad behavior uh, with kids, they had to take, the police took naked pictures of Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson supposedly had a sad disease. He had a, a vitiligo, which is, which is why he wore all that makeup to cover it up. And perhaps, you know, his penis probably had vitiligo yeah. too. Uh -huh. And the kids, and then, you know, and kids don't lie. They, they've seen something they've never seen before like that. They would... It would come, no. yeah, and that would be. Well, ladies, yeah, Michael Jackson was was able to pay a lot of money. Listen here, ladies. Millions. If you've seen my penis and you and you try to describe it, baby, you know it's going to be too big to even talk about. So, ladies, please don't share the recipe. You know it. Keep it in your head. If you've ever experienced my penis, then be thankful that you did. But don't be sharing the recipe for others because you know it's a long line. You might not be first, but you'll be next. Well, I actually, Keep that in mind. I have, to, I have to tell you something you told me. You once said this on the show once. You said that you didn't like it when, when, when you're in a hotel and the, and the uh, housekeeper knocks on the door, opens the door, and you're naked. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. And, you, and, you said, and you said that once uh, that happened. Yeah, and, I did. And you screamed. No, I, I, said, didn't, I didn't scream. I said she should have screamed. I didn't. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, actually, I, look, look, listen, no, listen now. You're making me go back to a thing that was kind of crazy. But yeah. I just, I was looking at some pictures, okay? Yeah. So, and I'm not going to say what I was looking at. But I was looking at some pictures, and then the door opens. Like, what the fuck? What? Hey, whoa, hello. And she's like walking in. She's, oh, I'm sorry. I said, can you freaking at least knock on the door before you walk in? And she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, yeah, next time, knock. Because I could be in here doing whatever I want to be doing, and I don't need you to be looking at what I'm doing. I could be uh, threading a needle, and you know, or sewing in my sew kit. I could be sewing up a a sweater. I don't need you to be looking <laughs> looking at what I'm doing. 
<laughs> it's cold in here. I'm sewing a sweater. So, <laughs> I got a sewing a sweater. I'm sewing a sweater. Needing a sock. Yeah. I could be, you know. The sewing needles. And I could be using <laughs> Jergesons. I don't need you to see that. Crochet needles. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, I, the gym I go to, they have banned nudity in the um, sauna. Oh, in they? the steam room. And I don't oh, know they did. I don't they know did. if it's a good thing. Okay. Because I'm sure a lot of the old guys are very upset because they they let it all hang out there. They don't they they don't scream when the when the when the housekeeper knocks on the door. And says, hey, right. Well, well, <laughs> listen, listen. But I mean, do, I mean, you know, the people can walk in there and point and laugh. <laughs> I mean, like two things you should never the, do with you know, and this, laugh. this old man is sitting in there and get a man is. Sauna feels really good. It's resting my skeleton, and the heat is absorbing to my brain and my head and my skeleton. Oh, this feels really good. <laughs> and this little kid walks in there. Ha, 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 look at that. And like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> look at that. Yeah. yeah. A little kid. And so then the father says, come on, come over here. Yeah, the look at my penis. That to me, you look you know, at my damn penis. So what you do that for? The little kid did that to me. You know what I would do? I would say, you... Brat haven't lived. <laughs> You'd be surprised with only one eye what this thing has seen. <laughs> and that one eye, that the one eye, more than you have see a lot, and it also sheds tears too. Yeah, it sheds tears <laughs> when it cannot come out to play. <laughs> daddy, daddy, can we play? No, get back in there. That's the businesswoman. We can't do that. But daddy, daddy, I really want to come out. I love her bosoms and her and her leggings. Oh God, I said no. You can't. We can't do that because she'll probably get me for harassment. You get right. back in there. I'll tell you when. Yeah, guys like you are having it rough these, these last few years, haven't they? <laughs> he used to be the poster child of the HR department. <laughs> you know, the favorite game, a great dating game, yeah. is Twister. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't have to tell you why. No, I, you, and you it's not, you it's not made for three people. It's made for two people. <laughs> now, if you have a man and a woman, yeah. or two men and a woman, you're not going to play Twister. But if you have a if you have a man and a woman, okay, Twister is the game to play. Well, you know, I haven't played Twister as an adult. I only played it as a little kid. And you know, when you play as a little kid, we're all little, and and the, and you can get five or six on <laughs> on a sheet. But I think as you get older or get bigger, I should say, you know, at become an adult, you would. Uh, you're right. Oh, the fewer the people, yeah. the better. But, exactly. But so not you better, that. you know, pick your friend. And, but you now, pick your friend. Not to, say, not to say that, you know, they say two is company and three is a crowd. No, three, it can be company, but it has to be two women <laughs> and me. <laughs> we go into this go into this little place, you know, as a mamouage matois. Oh, yes. Of course, it was Vegas. In the room, mamouage matois. Yeah. And we're in the room and why not? She said, do you really want me and her to get together? I said, I would love it. It would make my day. Okay. She said, okay. So we get on there and she said, of course, they're, they're at it doing whatever. Oh, and oh, and I'm sitting back there and you know, I'm clapping. I said, Good show. Good you were show. sitting on the edge of a bed. Yeah, and, then, and then she said, well, now, but now it's time for me to come in. How do I slide in? And she said, well, you can slide right here. I said, okay. And she goes, ooh. And I go, oh. And she goes, ooh. And I said, oh. And then it was a climatic. It came to, it was up to climax. Yeah. And we, it was a scene like no other. Yeah, it was a happy ever spent, and, I think. Yeah, it was, you know, <laughs> tasty cake. <laughs> Tasty cake all over. Yeah. And I just said, yeah. who's tasty and who's cake? Who's, well, I mean, who's, who's uh, icing is this? Now, how much did you tip them? How much did they tip me? <laughs> how much did they tip me? <laughs> That's the question. To leave? <laughs> no. To, to stay and leave my, leave my <laughs> sprinkles on their pergola. Don't get Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. We just got so we just it. got a view from the uh, yeah. from the NBC show. No, okay, the NBC show. Okay. The same guy who so, canceled the Smothers Brothers. Well, that's right. Oh, so, the show. Well, yes. 
Let's and, talk about Sesame Street. Now. Okay. Well, <laughs> you In know, fact, you're dressed like a pimp on Sesame well, Street. Well, look. Listen, I do have a big bird. <laughs> I do the big burn and, you know, and grouch. I don't know where grouch is in the damn dumpster. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. You know that grouch yeah. is something else. That uh, He's like a character from a Samuel Beckett play, like yeah. Endgame. <laughs> I kind of, you know, the only thing Endgame I ever, the, well, the only thing I ever learned from Sesame Street, got a little too old for it when it came on, gives you some idea how old yeah. I am. I, I, I was, uh, was how to be a grouch. That's all I learned. I already yeah. knew my ABCs. I already knew how to count to, okay. to 50. You knew your colors? I knew I could, I could count to 20 on my fingers and toes. You knew, you knew your colors and all that? Yeah. Knew my colors. You knew how to play marbles? <laughs> Marbles. They yeah, teach you, you that. Count your marbles, you know. They teach you that. Yeah. You count your coins, and then you count your marbles. My sister. Like this. My sister. Like this. Told me that she didn't like Sesame Street when I was when she was watching. It. I said, "What's some?" She was a little girl. I said, "What? What you don't like about it?" She goes, "Too many commercials." <laughs> she thought those were real commercials. Okay. And now it brought to you by the letter Q and <laughs> and the number six. <laughs> yes. The number sixty nine. <laughs> Number 69. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah, no, I don't, you know, you, a recipe is made, but don't share your recipe. What? There's a recipe there and an equation for when you're your better half and you're, you and your better half to experience, but you don't want to share your recipe really? unless. Cooking? A recipe. A recipe of la la. Mm. A recipe of la la, you know, the, you know. The, the different uh, <laughs> baking and rising the dough. You don't want to. You don't want to. Are you talking about right? pizza? I'm talking about. You're the, making me hungry. I'm talking about rise. You know, rise <laughs> we can't. You know, we we, we got to hit the, 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 the souffle, if you will, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But you don't share it. You have, you you share it only on a on a mouage mouage. <laughs> you can share. You got to learn how to. But it's got to what it is to know. How you it's got to be two <laughs> women. Yeah. And one man. Yeah. If it's the other way, I'm taking my balls somewhere else and going out the door. You take your balls and go go. Yeah, I take my balls. <laughs> like 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 the kid with the kickball at school. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking my balls. I'm taking my ball and go my balls and go, go home and, <laughs> and, and, and go in the corner and play some uh, marbles, whatever marbles and or and when, or, my or day, jacks. The yeah. frisbee contest was over when the frisbee landed on the roof. <laughs> Okay. We had to call someone's father with a ladder. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. he could probably do it one time, but then pretty much once it's up there, he goes, oh, I'm going to ask my dad later to get well, it. Well, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a big distance, isn't it? What? To, to go up there. Well, you, the trouble with Frisbees are they don't, you know, you, be able to climb you don't through. really know. They're not very, uh, I mean, if some people are very good at Frisbee, but uh, in college, you know, we had these championship uh, fr fr frisbee guys. But but I mean, every time I threw one, I didn't know where it was going to land. Well, did, 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 did it get stuck in a tree, or get stuck stuck on the roof? On a roof. Yeah. Oh, okay, if, I was if it lands in a tree, it would be. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, you had to go up and climb a tree. Yeah. Now, did you? Were you good at climbing trees when you were a kid? I did one time, and I had a fear of heights. That's why I felt like I need to get the forget the f off, off that damn, damn tree. I was yeah. ready to climb, and I said, "Good God!" And I looking down, and I said, "No, nah, I got to go back down." Yeah. I because actually, 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 there was a cat. You know, we're trying to save. You're this, trying to get the cat. Trying to get the cat. Of course, the cat moved down. And he crawled down. I said, "What the hell am I? What the hell am I doing up here? The damn cat's coming down by itself." The cat goes up a tree. I love yeah. It. Like if the cat got up the tree, they can get down from the yeah. tree. Yeah. Because cats are usually pretty good at, at yeah. that. We had a cat would wind up on the roof. We had a cat that wound up on the roof of the te of the top of the car. Yeah. And uh, I was very good at, at climbing trees, but only particular trees. In fact, I'm still pretty good at climbing trees. Do you climb trees? Yeah, in fact, there's a picture of me on the internet uh, on my birthday. A lot of people are putting pictures of me on, on the internet. Okay. And there's a picture of me climbing uh, up in a tree. And I'm not a young guy either. I'm probably 40 years old. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm a tree. It was a 40 year old. What, what time a guy goes up on a tree when he's 40? <laughs> Showing off, you know. Well, right, I, you I was one of those guys. Yeah. I could climb a tree when I was, when I was little. I could climb a tree and get pretty high. And then, luckily, they never called the the fire department. But they did call. Uh, I think they had to get it. Someone had to get a ladder from the, from the neighborhood to get me down. Yeah, you they couldn't, you know, because climbing a tree is easy. It's getting down that's the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they have a big cushion or a big round thing Ooh. and say, "Jump, jump, yes, you jump," no. you, just, you know. The last in fact, if any of my friends when I was a kid told me to jump from a tree or jump off the roof or something, I knew they were just oh, we're, we can get this guy to do anything. No, <laughs> but 
when you when the people literally now this is true now the people that are on L you know when they're about ready to take their life and they're trying to be talked down and then yet they're on the ledge about ready to ready to be to get off the ledge there is a surrounding area kind of like a, a um, jumping board or whatever something that they can land and be able to land safely and it might be like swooping down all the way from a, like a high storage building but you make sure that thing is pretty damn big around so they can land in that spot. I see that in the movies, in like a lethal weapon. Well, no, but there's but, there's different, I mean, they, but, they have done that before. Well, no, it's done, and it can be done, yeah. but part of the deal is you have to get that, that big cushion and that big uh, uh, trampoline thing, or whatever it's called, that stuntmen use, I think stuntmen use that in movies right. too, uh, They that before that person actually has the uh, 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 courage to jump down. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, there's, it's, a, it's actually... You know, long, you know, people get on a ledge and they think twice about, you know, they don't just run off like a, like a, it's not something you want to do. It's something you have to think very long and hard. Well, about. yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, but, that, but I mean, stuff. it's not unheard of, love. It's not, you see Ridley the movie, Scott you see the movies, but that, yeah. it's not unheard of, is what I'm trying to say. You jumped off the... Um, so, yeah. we are here today, you know, like I said, it's Kay Lazar's birthday, how bizarre with Kay Lazar. April seventeenth, April seventeenth, uh, nineteen forty-one. Yes. Or nineteen? Right. Well, no, no, actually nineteen forty-three. No, no, nineteen forty-three. Yeah. So I mean, damn. I, I mean, was a, I was almost a baby boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of fell. More of an there. adult boomer. Kind of fell in there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, in fact, I was the I I was the last person to see a uh, Glenn Miller concert before his plane crash. Okay. <laughs> Now, were you a stormtrooper in, in Star Wars? Star, Star, no, I, I'm a stormtrooper on our side. Oh, you were a stormtrooper on Star Wars. Okay, I thought you were a stormtrooper. I don't know why. I thought, I thought you played a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. Okay. Yeah, you know, speaking of Star Wars, for our for our uh, for our nerd friends uh, that watch the show, other I, nerd? I okay. it took me like about five or six Star Wars movies to find out that the guys who are who wear those white suits and those white masks, I thought they were robots, and then he took it off. At the beginning of the movie, I said, "Oh, there's a person under there." RTD, I just thought they too. No, it wasn't that. It was it was uh, 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 the character is a guy in a cost. I mean, even in, I thought they're you know if the, eventually technology is going to get so great that robots we won't even need soldiers anymore. The robots will fight our wars for us. Let me tell you something. The drones are almost there. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Well, then, you know, there's a lot of the F's, the, 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 these drones. A lot of these drones that fly. A lot of illegal. Illegal for these drones to be flying in certain areas in residential areas. Well, with the, photo, with the cameras. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. And yeah. you know that you know that story about what happened with these. Well, anyway, what story? These bitches tried to fly drones around my house. Oh yeah. Back in the day, and mm-hmm. regulations, you know, and they and the cops said they had no idea. Well, it must be a June bug. A no, June. you idiot! It's a freaking drone. That's right. You know. Well, no, I mean, you could buy drones uh, at, no, the, this at, was the, a, at the hobby shop. This was a like 150 bucks. military drone. A military drone? It's kind of like... Machine guns all right, all right. If you know the cover of the Electric Light Orchestra, they had this big, humongous thing, like the yeah. spaceship around on the cover. E-L- that was before I was born. E-L-O. Well, this big, big, humongous thing that lands. That's yeah. kind of the... It's with the same thing, yeah. what it feels like, a damn spaceship. And yeah. you think it's like, it's like you know, aliens or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it felt like. I mean, I'm coming home one night and I see this damn red and purple and blue and yellow thing around my house. Well, couldn't you like... What the hell is this? You know, it's a problem. You know what people do with drones? They usually, if they have a rifle, they try to shoot it. Well, it's... And we try to use... there's no sympathy for the guy. We try to use Roman candles to go up in the air with. Well, that's not... No, 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 Kevin, Kevin. Because then they would fly around the area of the house... And we took these Roman candles in a spurred spot, and we shot them up. We came that close, yeah, that close, and knocking that damn thing down. Yeah. So don't I, well, drones, I, I remember. So when you say drones, it kind of sets me off. These drones should be illegal. If they're not, they should be illegal. Well, they, you know, I think it was a uh, Amazon was going to try drone, drones delivering pizzas and, and, and packages and stuff. Uh, drones. I actually was in a movie. Uh, I mean, a, a, a local movie that a friend of mine made, and uh, there was this great scene where the camera was on a drone and it was flying in the field, 
And it looks like, you know, you don't have to rent a, a crane. You could have a, a cr drone, a homemade, not a homemade drone, but one you buy at the store is a, a private drone is actually much cheaper than renting a crane <laughs> or a cherry picker <laughs> to, uh, to uh, do your camera shot in a movie. Everyone makes movies now. Mm. Check it on YouTube. Do you have anything on YouTube? No, I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do I? You have your you have a regular channel. <laughs> you have your own network. <laughs> do I? You're you're a regular Roger Ailes of, of yeah. YouTube. <laughs> well, we have several channels, and we have stuff that's never seen a little light of day <laughs> that's still on DV, still on VHS tapes. Yeah. Still v, VHS tapes from back in the nineties. When you were seen light of day. Well, I don't. I gotta get <laughs> go to that place off of, off of Stable Mills Road to have them re, you know recreate that stuff and put it on digital format the best of gg they should call yeah them. the best of gorgeous george <laughs> we know about what's causing all this the book yeah we know about that we're, we're what's causing all the book what's causing all this the book the website gorgeousgeorgeshow.com that is up gorgeousgeorgeshow.com oh, <laughs> gavin where have you been <laughs> where have you been and I was going to recite some. some well, you should, actually, what you should we'll do, do is make a, have a book tour and go to all the well, major you know, cities and, and, and read the we book need to get it, all your fans. I want to get it in retail outlets. Yeah. And to get, to get it in retail outlets, it's hard to do that if it's self-published. Yeah. If I have like a Vanity Press or a publishing company, then we can get it in retail. If it's me self-publishing the book, which is what I've done, you can't get it in retail outlets like Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, or Books a Million is not even in business anymore. But like Barnes and Noble, you should sell it. And, you know, Keith Van Allen, okay, what did what did Keith Van Allen do with his book? He went to the uh, place on uh, Granite and he got over there. Right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. You do that. Well, did did Keith? Van <laughs> what, well, I know, but did Keith you Van, Van, do that. Van Allen put it in bar in these retail stores? Or Keith, no? yeah, that were characters in that book. Yeah, but did he put yeah. it in retail stores? No, I don't know. I never. I. I bought it from him. I bought it out of the trunk of his car. Okay. So, <laughs> let me tell you something about, about books. If you write a book, you mentioned self-published. You know, anyone could write books now and, and publish them themselves and make and keep all the profits, you know. Right. I mean, and let me tell you something. Friends of mine who have written books, uh, Bennett Cerf did not, with, at Rand, didn't come with a million dollar contract and knock on your door from Random House and says, hey, <laughs> we need you to write a book. It doesn't happen that way. In fact, Bennett Cerf is dead. <laughs> When when what's my line was canceled, so was Bennett Surf. So. <laughs> what is the current update in our 39th president, Jimmy Carter? Is he still he's still, he's still ticking? Okay. <laughs> no, he's in hospice care right now, right? He's in hospice care, but he, you know, like what, like five years ago, he was had inoperable brain cancer, yeah. and 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 then I thought maybe you know the the the. the the time had come, and and he still he's still going strong. His so wife is almost his age. He's, he's in hospice care, on. which is, is that is that true? I, I don't know. Yes, I, he's in hospice. Care. Okay. Well, actually, when you get to be as old as him, and Jimmy Carter right now, is an operation is almost superfluous. He's, he might as well just. He born. is uh, ninety what ninety eight. Ninety eight. He was born in. He is no. He, he was born nine twenty four, which means no, this year he'll he, be. Well, he's probably 98 he'll now, be but he'll probably be 99 this year. Yeah. He'll be 99 in October. He's yeah. still 98. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's something else. <laughs> and uh, who else can we think of that has reached that golden age that's still kicking? Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think right now myself. We just like named some names off here. Norman Lear. Norman, Norman Lear! Lear! Oh, my God. Norman Lear. Yeah. All the family. Sanford and Son. One day at a time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going good times. Yeah. Was it Alice too? No, not Alice. Yeah, I think he did that. But yeah. I'm naming ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the party pooper, you know. We have. Do we have? I know. I don't have ten minutes left in me. <laughs> you have ten minutes. Come on. <laughs> All right. So and yeah. So one day at a time. Uh, Sanford and Son, Jeffersons, All the Family. Yeah. Maud. Maud. Mary Hartman. Mary Hartman. Yeah. The uh, one day, one day at a time. One day at a time. He still does one day at a time. With they now it's like a, a Latino cast. Oh, is that right? Had uh, Rita Moreno. Oh, okay. he has a lot of shows that didn't make it too, but the ones that made it are the good. Well, the, the, well did he? Did he? Was he behind the Sally Struthers one too? Yeah, all those. All the Sally Struthers one with Burgess Meredith. Yeah. Behind that, that one, one, that that one that, that flew the crew. Yeah. 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 Uh, like Burgess Meredith when he's on the Twilight Zone and Batman. <laughs> 
No, Burgess Meredith's a great actor, yeah. It was just, and it, and it was funny because I happened to be, and these, well, these nimwit trolls have been at it. That Canadian, I don't want to say whatever, but that Canadian biatch, I, I won't use the C word, but I guess yeah. it's the obvious. No, you can't. Use, use the C word, but I guess not. But that, uh, well, I want to, but that Canadian biatch, mm -hmm. you know, she puts all that makeup on, so we're kind of trying to think of all of something to use and say with all that cake up makeup on she used. And we, so I, I, th I thought of Andor. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Agnes Moorhead on Bewitch. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> you have no idea. The that no, I know Endora. I mean, I don't know this Canadian that uh, Viach. Yeah. Uh, when I, you know, I'm going to name the name, but you know what I'm talking about. No. The, the Viach on that podcast. Yeah. I never paid attention. Uh, okay, to I know that nonsense. You know what I'm talking about. Looks like uh, Andor. Looks, you know looks, looks, looks like like uh, a cross. A looks like a cross calls? between. Hold on a second. Looks like a cross between Andorra. Yeah. Agnes Moorhead and and uh, the Drew Carey character with all that makeup. Uh, what's that character's that name? Mit, Miss, Missy. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Misty. If that was a woman or a man or whoever it was. She's a nice woman. I've seen or Mrs. Doubtfire. You know, looks like Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. 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 All my friends are starting to look like Mrs. Doubtfire. My male friends. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm starting to worry that I'm going to start looking like Mrs. Doubtfire soon. Yeah. <laughs> Men oh, get more women women don't you eat your barley and oats and, uh, and, and oats? And women get more masculine as they get older. When you start and, your and morning, men get more feminine looking. When you start your morning, Kevin, for yeah. fiber purposes, you eat your barley and oats, right? No. You don't eat barley and oats? No, I begin my morning with uh, you know, fiber. I mean, I can't two or three martinis, and that takes me. The you don't. You don't. You don't do any like. No, uh, I don't eat any breakfast. Don't eat any breakfast at all. No, don't eat. That's the start of the day, man. Yeah, three martinis. That's that's my breakfast. You don't eat no three martinis. <laughs> oh, the well, no. It's day. not always three martinis. Sometimes it's two. Start of your day, <laughs> man. You don't eat breakfast. If I have to go to work that day, then maybe one. So. And i got to teach you about that because you say you're this <laughs> health connoisseur, this health nut, yeah. and you don't realize that, that breakfast is... I'm, the, I'm here to be funny, not right, to be... You know, well, not, health not I'm going to say, you don't know that <laughs> breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and you don't eat breakfast. Nah, I eat breakfast. Okay. I eat breakfast. I eat well, how do you start off your, your breakfast? <coughs> Fruit. You don't eat, I eat, you don't raw, eat cereal? Raw. No. Hell no. You don't eat like you. you not, 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 not since I was uh, eight. You don't eat cereal, Rice Krispies? No, I don't eat any of that garbage. I don't eat any of that. that, uh, that, that and, uh, you know, Lucky Fruit Loops. Lucky Charms. Don't eat that. Oh, don't talk to me about Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. <laughs> the, the marshmallow part is good, but I don't like that, that garbagey. Brown stuff that comes in my <laughs> Lucky Charms. No, that's Chocolaka. Or that's a chocolate uh, yeah. Cocoa Puffs. I, the only chocolate cereal Cocoa. I used to like was... I really started to like granola when I was... Uh, uh, or muesli when I was uh, a teenager. But let me tell you something. What I didn't like about it was they didn't give a prize in it. Like they did... The like they did, like they did with Sugar Frosted Flakes. Well, Frosted Flakes, and yeah. Frosted Flakes. And, flakes, and Sugar Smacks. Corn Flakes and... Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, man! Well, yeah, because some, some of that shit can be good. They had the uh, no, you had the, you had it right the first time. The corn, <coughs> excuse me, the corn puffs, corn puffs, and then uh, it was basically just I don't know, sugar. But but <laughs> well, yeah, but it's <laughs> sugar and milk. It applies. Actually, I remember one time when I opened the box, had a the prize was a pack of Trojans. <laughs> I think I think if you found that if you found that in in your cereal box, I would have called the no the FDA or somebody the same thing. It was it was pre wrapped. Oh oh, so a box of Trojans. I said, "Well, Dale, I get this in my cocoa puffs." And then actually, you want to surprise you? The best thing I used to get. And it also was the one that lights up too. You know, I tell you the two best. Things I got in cereal boxes, yeah. Other than the garbagey cereal, was um, uh, they for a short time they had baseball cards that were in 3D, and I still have those, <laughs> those cards in my baseball card collection. Okay. And the other thing was it wasn't really in the box, but they had like a monkey's uh, and an Archie's uh, uh, cardboard record on the back of the bo of okay. the box, and you used to cut it along the uh, the, the, the and believe it or not, it played. Okay. And they and I, I it's like Archie songs like uh, 
uh, I think I, I had uh, Archie's or Jingle Archie Jangle or? Oh, and Bang okay. Shangle Lang, and then I had the uh, it wasn't a, and then I had the monkeys. It was Archie Bunker or Meathead? Was, uh, I'm okay. a I'm a believer. Yeah, it wasn't the Meathead. Archie Bunker. No. What What do you mean? It's an Archie. Ar- no, the Archie. Archie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jughead, yeah, Jughead. Yeah. Archie. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of uh, Carol Conner. Con- yeah. Carol Conner. Con- Con- Norman Lear. But let me tell you something. Okay. Like, we were talking about Archie's once that uh, that every time we would throw parties that uh, we always tried to invite Betty and Veronica, but they always wound up bringing Archie and Jughead with them. <laughs> so what are they doing? But Reggie, and, and, get, but Reggie, Reggie was never guy. got respect. Reggie was never the one to get respect. It was all Archie, 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 and then the Jughead was. Oh, oh let me tell you, I got a story about Reggie. Reggie never. Got I thought Reggie was really cool yeah. with his clothes, and he yeah. was a smart aleck, and he had nice hair and yeah. everything. And I said to one of my sisters, I said, uh, I said, you know, uh, I, uh, I don't know what's why they like you said why the hatred about Reggie because Reggie is really cool. I, I, I like his hair, I like his clothes, I like his attitude and everything. And then she just dropped what she says. Kevin, you are the adult Reggie. <laughs> You've grown up to be the adult Reggie. Yeah. I said, and then I realized you are what you pretend to be. Yeah. That's true. If you want to think of yourself, the lady, the guy, I was just be informed there. by the store came down and <laughs> say, "Gigi, your first show was great. A lot of great adult adult material. Good show. Thumbs up by the producer of the you know good stuff. But you only got two minutes left. So, ladies." I leave you with this antidote to wrap up the show off. Imagine me like an ice cream cone coming down on a hot summer day, baby. You're just like you're sipping that ice cream cone, and it's me coming out now you into your screen like on a hot summer day. And you said, "Ooh, you cool and soothe me." I said, "Yes, honey, that's what I do." Ooh, let me see some more. I said, "You can see all you want, but we have to we have to do it in a certain place at a certain time." And you'll have all the ice cream that you want, baby. Woo! It's tonight or you scream and I scream. We all scream for my ice cream. <laughs> one Mona Lisa, one Leaning Tower, Pisa. Thanks for and having baby, me. And baby, there's only one gorgeous George. Wish this man a happy B-Day. Happy B-Day. He just turned 80. He's got his walking cane. And he's ready. And he's still got, down. And he's still got it going for you ladies out there if you want a piece of the Prudential. Yes. I am what is causing. All of this. Woo! Woo! And we're still on. Is tonight a rerun? Politics was it a new show? dancing. <laughs> the politics of ooh, la, la, la. The politics of dancing. Oh, you know.